Hello and good morning. This is another one inspired by the Facebook group. Um, the idea was something like um, shown here where um, you have a bunch of fixtures and with a fader or with any control you can adjust which part of the fixtures is lit. And there are various um, answers, but uh, none of them are really helpful except one. Um, I would do this with Pixel Mapper as he did it here, um, and use a Pixel Mapper Layer Master. This is how I did it in my little demo here, and I'm going to show how to do this. As always, we start with a new show. I'm running Titan version 15, it's Titan Go 15.1. Uh, have a look here, version 15.1. So let's patch a couple of fixtures. Patch, dimmers, and I just patch 15 dimmers here, that's it. Okay, exit patch menu. Then we open Capture Visualizer, open Capture Visualizer. We need a group, so we can use an old demos group or just to be sure I add another group. So take all demos and quick record a new group, hit clear, try that it works, demos at full. Here we go, record, and put it there. So this is our first group and our first queue. Next thing, we start the um, pixel mapper. We need to create the, to edit the group layout. He asks us to select the group. Of course, we use this one, and the group is already set so nothing special okay and now we can create an effect again we have to select the group this one and want to create an effect i just uh, change this window a little bit so that we can see what happens now we add an element which is our little um, rectangle. Um, we have to change its width to make it a little bit narrower, like so. Only two or three fixtures, it's up to you. Something like this. And what the guy did in the video was he just shifted the position here. And you can, of course, do this as well in programmed queues. So um, we go to the layer, layer one. Then we have to go to the top here and turn on use master. And now we record this as another queue record and put the queue here. Okay, clear, exit, have a look. Okay, this is the next one and now we need to create the pixel mapper layer master for layer one. So this is in the record menu, go to create master, go to pixel mapper, Go to layer one, and we put it, well, I put in the uh, groups window. We can put it there. Okay, this is our pixel by layer master. This is a master, and now because we have this master, of course, we need to set it to full to see something again. So, put it to full, record another queue, Record and now we change it to fix record mode channel. Put it there. Okay, clear. Of course, it's up to you to 
uh, use only the uh, the master queue or the individual queue, or you can do whatever you want. But anyway, this is the um, pixel mapper effects uh, brightness, and this is the uh, layer master brightness. Of course, it's both needs need to be up. And now the big trick: if we select the fixture layer master and go to position. Then we have X and Y. Of course, X is left and right, and we can try a little bit. So, for instance, if we put this to, um, say, 20, okay, you see it has shifted here. Uh, you could do this also with the uh, with our uh, control here, and you see it goes from minus 200 to 200 exactly. Um, let's check a little bit more. Go to 50, and 50 is obviously exactly a one end, and the other one would be minus 50. Um, minus 50, and go to x minus 50. Here. Yeah. So these are the two values we need. And now it's um, very easy. We record this into a queue list, for instance. Of course, you could also record this into queues and use fader mode too. I prefer a queue list here. Record, go to a queue list, and yeah, record mode handled still, so that we only record the X position. Yeah, queue list goes here. This is our first queue. Now we go to 50. I do this with the computer keyboard. X50, this is our second queue. Here, clear and exit. Now the only thing we still need is options of the queue list. Here, and we change it in fader, the fader menu to manual crossfade. I think we Maybe we should also enable Firefox Q, but this is really up to you. Okay, why do, do it here? Okay, exit. And now let's have a look. Now we can neatly fade between the two positions. Of course, you could also apply an effect here. Or I don't know about shapes, but if at least effects would go. So this is exactly what was shown in the video, and this is how you can achieve it with a cue list. So have fun, and um, yeah, have a great day, and a nice weekend. Bye bye.